So today I wanted to talk about my faith. And sometimes I hate talking about my faith because whenever I talk about it, the Bible thumpers come in and just tell me I'm not a real Catholic or I'm not a real Christian. I don't do enough. Or... And if you guys need a religious scholar, please go somewhere else. Please, it's not me. <laughs> if you want a nun or a, a saint to look up to, not me. Go somewhere else. But I wanted to give my thoughts on why I think that Christian, maybe Catholic or Christian, I haven't decided yet, is the one true religion. So this doesn't really come from a super in-depth theological point of view. So please, if you want to say that this is wrong, that's fine. This is just my point of view. So when I was 22 or 21, you know, I, I started looking at the world and I wanted to figure out what religion I was. And I narrowed it down to Jewish, Muslim, Christian, Catholic. Now, Jewish, there's a couple reasons I I discredited that religion. Again, this is from the point of view of someone that is not a religious scholar. Number one, I thought that it was unlikely that Jesus would have existed and been as big and influential of a figure as he was to the point that we're talking about him a thousand years later if he was just a crazy man pretending to be God. And there are scriptures of him referring to himself as God, the son of God, to me, that didn't make sense. So I ruled that out, although there was a slight desire to look at the Jewish religion because I thought I didn't have to believe in the miracles. And I'm naturally a skeptic. But, you know, I, I guess the way I saw it, he was either the son of God or he wasn't. Then the next religion I was looking at was the Muslims. And I have a lot of respect for the Muslim religion. I think they have, I, I live in a very Muslim area. I think they have a lot of things right. Um, they believe in more of like a patriarchal structure. They don't put up with the BS that Christians seem to put up with, which I like. But, and I don't know, so please do not come for me. It seems like there's a lack of freedom in that religion. And while I believe in freedom with responsibility, but I think, you know, my dad always told me that you should never control people. Because if you do, they will resent you for it. And my dad was a very hands-off parent. He would, he would show us right from wrong you get to pick. Now, I can't say for sure. Maybe I'm un uneducated. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like they have that with the, the burkas and all that. Like, it, it's... Anyways, they seem to agree with me on the women should have vote thing. They're more based than a lot of Christians. But, you know, and the other thing was, if I was God... I would make a world where the countries that followed me would be prosperous and amazing. And in my heart of heart, in my soul of souls, I've lived around the world. I still believe that the United States is the greatest country on earth. Maybe I'm biased because I'm from the U.S., but I've lived in Europe for a couple years. I think there's some awesome things about Europe. I've lived in Germany, I've been to India, I've been to the Middle East. There, and, and there's things I love about every, every country I go to. There are things that I, I love about it. Um, for example, Germans, on time, hardworking people. I'm German, you know. Um, India, I love, even India is very dirty, but I, I, they, they took us to like um, a party there. My dad has a company in India. And we would do, like, they, his employees threw a party for us. 
not for it was like the 10 year anniversary of my dad's company but they put us in saris and uh, they did these traditional dances and I just loved it it was amazing um, so this is nothing against those countries but it seems like and I can say this firsthand living in, in Europe the countries that are Christian nations at least when they started everyone wants to come to so even without and I know and this is the problem with scholars scholars get so in the weeds and so in depth with all the religious text I just get confused and I, I like to see what makes sense in the world and I also believe the problem with Christians today and why Christianity is dead and this is why the trad feminists drive me freaking nuts because there's a natural order in the world. And I don't care if people think I'm crazy talking about this. Women can never do what men can do. Women, I, I don't know if we're maybe lesser beings, lesser whatever. It, I look at the world and things only make sense when it goes God, men, women, children. And the problem you have with all these trad cucks excuse my language, is one, they're very self-righteous. And the Christians today are so self-righteous, very preachy, and very, um, it's almost like God became a brand for them. And that's why I'm not, I'm not too big on talking about my faith publicly. Because, you know, I don't know, there are times where, Praying and talking to God was the only thing that got me out of like a really, really tough time. And um, it's almost like something special to me. It's something like sacred, my relationship with God. And I don't like to share it with everybody. I know that's Maybe not what the Bible says. I don't know. You know, I'm not, again, I'm not a religious scholar. But to me, it feels weird when people are, God, God, God. Like, it, it just almost seems fake to me. And that's the best way I can describe it. Um, and then people in church will always just tell you that they're not religious enough. And the problem is, Christianity has fallen and it's because there's so many simps in church that just cater to what women want. There are these women's groups that are run by women. Now we have female pastors and preachers and it's tough because I would think if the Catholics were the church of God, you know, like, you know, guided by God, which they say, it, it seems like they would be able to rise above some of the problems in modern day. And it doesn't seem like they're doing that. You know, I just have to be honest. And, and then I found out they changed a bunch of stuff in the 70s. You know, let females be altar servers, all this stuff. I question if we're supposed to worship Mary. I don't know. I'm not a scholar. So please, if you want to say you're not religious enough to talk about this. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, so, you know, I go back and forth. I still go to Catholic mass if I go. Um, but I, I actually came to the conclusion, and this is a weird way to think. I think men are living representatives of God on earth. Because men, when they get together, even if they don't have women... I saw Jason Whitlock's video um, where he's realizing women shouldn't vote. And he was saying that men need women in order to like live good lives or whatever. I think that God is naturally in men and I think the devil is naturally in women. Now I know this sounds crazy, but all the evil in the world seems to come from women Men from single mother homes or men that defer to the authority of women. Where all the uniquely great 
inspiring things that I've seen seem to come from men. Now, it's not to say there can't be good women, you know, when you meet like a pure, innocent woman, there's something special about it. But those are few and far between. They're not, they're pretty rare. And generally, they are the way they are because they have a really strong husband or a really strong father in their life. So it, it seems like to me that men are living, rep my dishwasher's done, that men are living representatives of God on earth. And women will become evil if we do not defer to the authority of the men in our lives, whether it's a father, whether it's a husband. Um, and that's my thoughts on, on religion. I, I think, you know, there's a natural order in the world. I think Christianity is the one true religion. I believe in God. And maybe Catholicism, I don't know. And the reason I go back and forth is the Christians say everyone should read the Bibles for themselves, but that's led to them getting a billion woke churches. So I don't know about that. But at the same time, the Catholics seem to kind of be going down the same route. I question worshiping Mary, but I'm not sure. And I know when I post this video, all the Bible thumpers are going <laughs> to are going <laughs> to be super excited to just tell me which one, but this is just how I think. Um, but I don't know. You know, I believe in God. It really is frustrating when people try to discredit my faith because I'm not a preacher. I don't think that's my job and that's a private relationship for me. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts on religion in the comments. These are just my thoughts off the dome, like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.